Welcome to this lesson on special angle pairs. Special angle pairs are two angles that have a special relationship. So we're going to look at some of these special angle pairs below. The first one is complementary angles, and those are two angles that add to equal 90 degrees. So for example, these angles here, 31 plus 59 equals 90 degrees. They are complementary. The next type is supplementary, and those are two angles that add to equal 180 degrees. So for example, these 42 plus 138, that equals 180 degrees. Next are adjacent angles, and those are two angles that share a vertex. So this is a vertex, and they share a common side. So they share a ray. All right, so this angle and this angle would be adjacent. Another way to say it is they are side by side. They will never overlap, but they will be right next to each other. All right, the next special angle pair is vertical angles, and those are two opposite angles formed by intersecting lines. So for example, these are vertical angles, and these are also vertical angles, and vertical angles are always congruent. So for example, if this angle was 120 degrees, this angle would also be 120 degrees. And if this angle was 60 degrees, this angle would also be 60 degrees. All right, the next special angle pair is a linear pair, and that is two angles that form a line, which makes sense because linear, that means line. Linear pairs are always adjacent, so they are side by side, and because they form a line, they are supplementary because a line is 180 degrees. So these two angles here would be a linear pair. Okay, so pause the video now and go ahead and complete special angle pairs practice and special angle pairs practice two and check with your teacher and when you come back we will go over the next set of notes. Okay, welcome back. The next set of notes we will go over is parallel lines cut by a transversal. So parallel lines, of course, are lines that never touch or never meet. So these are parallel. And when parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, they form five special angle pairs. And a transversal is this line here. It's just a line that intersects two or more other lines. So this is a transversal. All right, so let's look at these angle pairs that are formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal. The first one is alternate interior angles, and those are angles that are inside parallel lines, and they are on opposite sides of the transversal. And that makes sense because remember interior, that of course means inside, alternate means opposite. So they're inside on opposite sides. So these are alternate interior, and then these are also alternate interior angles. And alternate interior angles are always congruent, so they are equal in measure. All right, the next special angle pair is alternate exterior angles, and those are outside parallel lines. Exterior means outside, and they are on opposite sides of the transversal. And they are also congruent. So these are alternate exterior, and these are also alternate exterior. All right. 
The next special angle pair is a consecutive interior angles, or sometimes you will see same side interior angles. Those are angles that are inside parallel lines and they are on the same side of the transversal. So consecutive means same side. So these, they're both on the left and they're both inside the parallel lines. And then these are both on the right and they're still inside. Consecutive interior angles are always supplementary, which remember that means they add to equal 180 degrees. All right, the next pair is a consecutive exterior or same side exterior, and those of course are outside parallel lines, and they are on the same side of the transversal. And they are also going to be supplementary. So these, they're both on the left and they're both outside the parallel lines, and then these are both on the right and they're outside the parallel lines. Okay, and then the last special angle pair are corresponding angles, and those are angles that are in the same position. And they are congruent. And there are lots of different corresponding angles when you have parallel lines cut by a transversal. So these are corresponding so by same position, I mean they're both above the parallel lines. They're both on the left of the transversal. And then we have these. They're both above the parallel lines, but they're on the right side. And then we have these. They're both below the parallel lines on the left side. And then we have these. All right, go ahead and stop the video now and you can complete parallel lines cut by a transversal practice and the special angle pairs review and then you can check it with your teacher.